yeah. Um, so in in sense of uh, in sense of awareness, it uh, I think it lowers your chance of being attacked. If I could go back and look at that, I apparently cut like halfway in between looking at it. So <laughs> but yeah, it's an interesting item. I don't really need any of this. Uh, that those gloves are the exact same uh, for that Wynn has already, except I think it does spirit damage. I think she does spirit damage, either that or frost. I think it's frost actually. So here is I think the third grave, and they swapped the 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 dialogue paths on me. I assumed number one was going to be uh, you know pick it up or disturb the thing. So this fight goes a little differently from most. For for the most part, I wanted to focus on these weaker guys before taking on the uh, bigger guy. And then the Revenant, for whatever reason, got really into win. And really, like, he was just focused. Like, he was just focused on killing win um, the entire time. And then he turns to uh, Liliana. And Liliana is surprisingly tankier than I imagined. Um... Not sure if she has like a higher evasion rating or what, but she barely, like she does get hurt a little, you know, obviously. Um, but she's not as as wounded as you may think. Uh, actually, not as I say that. But it does take him a while to get him to like do anything. Like, I don't think he had even hit her there. So now I'm trying to heal up two people, Alistair who's in the middle of a fight, and Liliana who's in the middle of having like a one-on-one -on -one with the Revenant. Um, ooh, she just gets a little low. <laughs> and then there's this asshole behind me. I think I petrified this guy. Because not only is he isolated from the rest of his team. Um, oh, a grip healed, okay. Uh, greater mana, yes. Okay, what do I do? Uh, I'm pretty sure I petrified this guy. So he would stop attacking wind from behind. That's a stone fist, not quite the same. I, I'm pretty sure the uh, the revenant can also do like splash damage with his ability. Yeah, there's the petrify. Um, so it's it's kind of annoying when you're fighting a revenant because he, he can splash damage other people around him. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a deadly strike right there from Poopa. Lilian almost died, so so much for me saying that she was, you know, close to invincible. <laughs> and I think I wanted, I don't heal poop, but uh, okay. So I told Alistair to take a normal health potion instead of a greater because, <laughs> you know, he's not terribly hurt, but at the same time, I would prefer him. Liliana still hasn't taken her greater health potion, so As you say. there it is. Okay. Pretty sure just okay heroic offense with Liliana. I don't know if it increases her attack speed or what, but it, it does feel like it's a really good idea. And there you go. Assassination on the Revenant, and that's him dead. And I'm pretty sure Alistair just kills this guy before I can get there. I wanted to it's like Jack his kill. Oh, I did. I did. I did Jack his kill. He should have killed it faster. That's all I'm saying, Alistair. Um. So the Tremendous Shield, not as good as the one he has right now. I think the one Alistair has is like a six, <laughs> a six armor rating, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I think now we just head over to the last, uh, the last grave and uh, deal with stuff. So you did I really cut all of that out? Right? I believe what I heard was that you were not, in fact, a Templar. You were trained as one before you became a Grey Warden. That's right, but I still have all the abilities of one, of course. That doesn't make you nervous. Should it? I am no apostate. Did we just Perhaps finish the mission? We did. What am I talking about? She claims not to be afraid of me, or anything, really. But you've had more experience with the Templars than her. I know how mages can sometimes... The Templars serve a function, and a necessary one. If what has happened at the tower proves anything, it is that we mages can be dangerous, even to ourselves. That's one way of looking at it. And regardless, you seem like a decent enough young man. If you decide to slaughter me out of hand, 
I'm sure you would at least inform me first, no? Oh, sure. Count on it. So yeah, apparently I finished that mission. So <laughs> uh, I think now we do a lot of conversations. Um, I wanted to open up as many companion quests as I could. Um, I was wondering why I was cutting away. I'm like, did I really just finish that mission or, or what? So now we have a bunch of emissaries uh, for each of the factions. All right. Uh, it's the mages, the humans, the uh, dwarves and elves. And I think I dump a bunch of supplies in there later. Um, do I do I go on a spending rampage now? Leveling up. Okay. I uh, still don't have access to the assassin even after this recording session, which really bugs me because there's a there's a there's a surprise I guess I I'll call it that that happens later and it really bugs the crap out of me that I still don't have that ability. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna just level up everyone. Oh, Zevran. Um, give him some more cool abilities. Level up, uh, Ogren and Sten. And uh, that's everyone. Now I go buy and uh, buy and sell. I sell a lot of the armor. And I think this is when I, uh, upgrade, uh, let's see. I think I give Alistair his, uh, suit of armor. His, like, really badass looking suit of armor. I buy a bunch of flasks. I buy a bunch of, uh, Deciliation agents for health potions that I will spam on your mind. once we get of out of here. Uh, I think I wanted to talk to him just for a bit. Uh, do I go? What do we go with? What do I? Oh, Essentially, the Templar. That's to right. Fight. The Chantry would tell you that the Templars exist simply to defend, but don't let them fool you. They're an army. The other main purpose for a Templar is, of course, to hunt mages. To that end, we train in talents that drain mana and disrupt spells. So, I think I... Yeah, do you, you use magic? Call it that, sure. The Chantry doesn't look on it the same way, however, since really our talents only work on mages. Against a regular person, I'm just a guy in a metal suit. Um... So couldn't others learn these Perhaps, talents? But there usually isn't much of an opportunity. The Chantry keeps a close rein on its Templars. We are given Lyrium to help develop our magical talents, you see. Which means we become addicted. And since the Chantry controls the Lyrium trade with the dwarves, well, I'm sure you can put two and two together. They're feeding addictions. <laughs> uh, so were you addicted to the Lyrium? Thankfully, no. You only start receiving lyrium once you've taken your vow. I hear it's a very addictive You don't addictive need lyrium in drug. order to learn the Templar talents. Lyrium just makes Templar's talents more effective, or so I was told. Maybe it doesn't even do that. The Chantry usually doesn't let their Templars get away either, so they can spread their secrets. I'm a bit of an exception. Lucky me. <laughs> Not sure if that's lucky or, <laughs> or you know, the short end on the stick. I think now I want to talk to Zephyrin to see as much, or if Here I can get I the assassin ability. And I feel like I was close to oh, getting I this, certainly could, but I don't. But I won't. I swore to the crows that the things they taught me so were close to remain this. a secret. And while yes, they are already angry at me, I'd rather not push things. You see. I'm not sure if I don't have enough high enough like uh, respect with him. If I need to get higher. If you are truly insistent, but well, I would love to learn it. how to be. The crows are already angry at me, yes. Who knows? Uh, plus two. So I'm getting there. Um, uh, but me and... Yeah, I still have not unlocked that. Even in-game or am. after the recording session, as I mentioned. I just really want to become an oh, assassin. This should so be now I just start Go talking ahead. with Alist or with Zevin for a bit about I the Dalish. I don't enough of the Dalish other than the fact that my mother was one. Or so I was told. She had fallen in love with an elven woodcutter and accompanied him back to the city, leaving her clan behind for good. And there, of course, the woodcutter died of some filthy disease, and my mother was forced into prostitution to pay off his debts. That one, 180. Oldest Jesus. tale in the book. <laughs> Oldest tale? Not really sure. I think I say that was horrible. Uh, I'm not. Yeah. Is it? I think I just got that. It seemed normal enough a tale growing up, no different than the other elven boys in the whorehouse. I didn't know my mother either, of course. She died giving birth to me. My first victim, as it were. We were all raised communally by the whores. It was a happy enough existence, ignoring the occasional beating. 
until eventually I was sold to the Crows. I brought a good price, so I hear. I'm sorry to hear. I'm sorry for you. Oh, and yeah, you're oddly cheerful. Worse. Shall I tell you about what happened to the other whorehouse boys who did not fetch a decent price with the crows? Surely your life okay. has not been so idyllic. People like you and I are not the product of happy that lives of contentment, after all. Um, you can say that again. It's like, jeez, I had a rough time. Even like the intro was, it was my rough. My original point is that my mother's dalish nature was always a point of fascination for me. Through all the years of my crow training, the one thing of my mother's that I possessed was a pair of gloves. They were of dalish make. I knew that much and beautiful. I had to keep them hidden, of course, as we were not allowed such things. Eventually, they were discovered and I never saw them again. Um... But you don't think of yourself as Dalish? Right? Please? Hello? Pass me, please? Yes. Not at all. I think of myself as Antivan. Still, that did not stop me from running off to join a clan when I drew near Antiva City once. Naturally, the reality did not live up at all to the fantasies I had constructed as a boy, staring at those gloves. But such is life. Come, enough talk of the Dalish. Let us move on. Speaking of which, however, my friend, we happened to have stumbled upon uh, Dalish gloves quite a while ago. So. Gloves? You're giving me gloves? What for? They're Dalish gloves, like your mother's. I... Maker's breath. You're right. It is like my mother's. The leather was less thick and it had more embroidery, but these are very close and quite handsome. <laughs> it was nothing. Still. I appreciate the fact that you even thought of me. No one has simply given me a gift before. Thank you. I think that was the first gift we ever gave him. And he got a plus 11 from that as well. Um, it's a, we had received an item. I think that was... I think it's that, actually. I assume it was that one. Either that or it's still appearing from, you know, a while ago. So we're now plus 10 with Zevron. We still haven't, we, we haven't played with uh, Zevron on our team as much. We haven't really talked to Zevron or given him gifts. So, uh, I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean, it ends up being pretty bad. Because um, I want to give him gifts, but I don't really know what to give anyone. I guess I'm supposed to learn through dialogue. I was just thinking about what happened to the elves, and I... Oh, it's this part. I'm reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died, and this wise elven woman comforted me and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. Um, that is comforting. I think I always had. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. And I'm pretty sure she just, she just goes ahead and sings it. Yeah. yeah. I'll probably be quiet for this. I thought this was going to be the end of the video, but... That sounds nothing like her, but... Just just go with it. Yeah, sounds something like her, I guess. She loses her accent. I think that's the major thing. I mean, you can't exactly have an accent during a song, but... I think this is from the title scene. Or it's just part of the, the soundtrack in general. Because it sounds familiar. Well, I mean, this is the second time I've heard this, so... <laughs> I recorded it and now I'm listening to it again, so obviously it sounds familiar from her, but... Oh, look, it's Morgan. <laughs> She's disapproving of the song. <laughs> There's Pooplet in all of its glory. I forgot that I tried to design Pooplet after me. It's been a while since I've just seen his face up close. 
Sten also looks very pissed off. <laughs> I do start getting favor with, with Sten, though. Uh, I think that's going to be the majority of the next video. It took me forever to even get him to, like, smile or notice me. And even when I finished the conversation, I'm like, wait, wait, Sten approves? What the fuck? <laughs> it's so hard to talk with a Sten. That's uh, Alistair in his new armor. Looking dapper as fuck. I also gave him a, a new shield, I think. I think I gave everyone new armor. Actually, no, I haven't. Not, not yet. <laughs> Never mind. He does not look quite as dapper as I believed. But yeah, that was, uh, that's the song. And I think we just, like, stare at each other again and go back to our business.